Hey Nick, your bag's open. Yeah. It's, it's broken. This is, yeah, the zipper's broke. All right, thanks, man. Yo, Nick. Yeah. Your bag, man. Broken. Your laptop's gonna fall it's out. Broke. Your bag. It is open. Yes. It's broken. I think it's time for a new bag. What is going on, guys? It's a very exciting day for me. I ordered something in the mail on Black Friday and it came in and today we're gonna to be talking about it. Now, it has something to do with this right here. Now, let me show you what happened to my old bag that I bought off of Amazon.com. After two years, it had a little wear and tear. So, I'm gonna get my other camera so I can explain what happened to this bag little by little. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted about two months ago about this little strap here that popped. And once this thing popped, I don't know if it messed up the integrity of the whole bag, because next to go was this zipper here that which holds my laptop for the laptop case. And then if you guys could see here in the front, this part right here, this part right here blew a seam and then that was that. So this bag was good, went on trips with it. Two years I had it. Um, it worked as my camera bag, as my laptop bag. It was a good travel bag. Never had any issues until that couple months ago when this thing popped and then the bag just fell apart. So this bag is a dual camera bag which holds my laptop. It has a little side compartment for my water bottle. And then, the, uh, then there's another compartment here with separated compartments as you guys can see the little bit of wear and tear. Then it had separate compartments for my camera stuff. So I have my lens compartment. This is where I would put one of my camera, but I'm using this one here. And there's another one over there. And then just different compartments for different things. I could actually fit my Mavic drone in here as well. I don't have it here right now. As a matter of fact, I have it right here. Uh, I use this bag a lot, but when I want to consolidate, if I'm going on a trip and I want to just keep it tight and keep it compact, I put it right here with the two batteries here and then my camera would go here with the lenses over there so this bag is good I, I give it a thumbs up it lasted me a pretty long time but it's time has come so I went to Galls.com and I chose da, 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 da. hold on let me move this the 511 tactical series rush 72 backpack now there's several reasons why I chose this backpack for me uh, mainly because it's tactical. No, I'm just kidding. It's huge. Now, the reason why they call it a Rush 72 is because it's large enough to fit supplies in here to last you for up to 72 hours. They also have a 511 uh, Tactical Rush 24 and a 12. I'm not sure if they have a 48, but I went with the 72 because I needed a lot of space. So, this is kind of like a brief rundown of the bag and how I'm going to use it. Um, by no means is, are we going to go too far in depth with everything. I'll just kind of run down the features and why I bought this bag. So here we go. For the rundown of the bag, I put up a GoPro up here to give you guys like an overview of it. We're recording. So again, it's the 511 Tactical Series Rush 72 book bag. Uh, I got it because it's ginormous. Got it from Galls.com. They carry these uh, along with all the other series of 511. So if you guys are looking for one, you can pick it up at Galls.com. And if you use the code NODSQUAD, you get a 15% off. So hooking it up. So right from starters, you can see um, that it's a multicam. I went the multicam. It was between the gray or the multicam. If this one works out, I'll probably get another one and that will be in the gray. So we're gonna work our way from the outside to the back. So on the outside, starting here, you have these little loops that you can use to put attachments here to carry other equipment. Uh, they go throughout the bag here, a little bit on top, and I believe, yep, there's some here on the side. You also have here some Velcro to add your patches or maybe a name tag here to make it a little more personal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Stand by. Mark. So right now I got the subdued gray American flag. Now I like this here. This is like a kangaroo pouch where you can put a jacket. Let me get a jacket, hold on. So I went and chose the U jacket representing UMPD. Shout out to UMPD. If you guys haven't seen the series police cars that I'm running here on this channel, I'll link them down below. We did one with UMPD. Quick shout out to UMPD. Now when I'm working at work, it is cold. If you guys know anything about video production, the tip of the iceberg is actual filming the rest of the iceberg is editing. So 
tends to get cold in the office. I like to bring a jacket to work. So I said, man, that would be awesome to put my jacket in there. Boom, now my jacket's here. Tighten it up, good to go. Got my jacket, now if I'm gonna go film, I could take off my jacket out wherever I'm at and put it right here. Doesn't get dirty, don't have to throw it on the floor. That's where the thought process was with that. So the straps connect here at the end and you can tighten it up right here on the inside. Tighten it up, tighten it up. I'm trying to go quick guys. Tighten this up. All right, so the jacket's secure. Let's go look on the inside of the outside pocket. So you have little compartments here. Put some equipment here. Maybe some lenses in my case, or magazines here. It looks like you can put some, a magazine here of some sort. Pen holders. Another case here. Little zipper with some mesh to throw in some loose items, change, pens, whatever. You have here for your keys, you clip on your keys so you don't lose them. And then on the outside here, another mesh bag. Like I'm not gonna go too far into it, just know that there's a lot of pockets as I just did the whole outside parking. I'm not gonna go too far in that, I just explained the whole thing. Um, this is more of like a first reaction type of uh, video. I'll let you guys know how it works out down the road. You have another case here on the top. Maybe put a small handgun inside. Like I said, I'm using it for both uh, reasons. I've been doing a lot of things at the gun range lately with TTOG, uh, with Chris from TTOG. So out there, I bring my firearm. Um, sometimes I'm doing stuff where I wanna secure it. Maybe I don't wanna run all the way back to the car. My bag's right by the side of me so I could throw a small baby Glock or something in here. Um, or maybe some sunglasses. I don't know. When you're at the range, you need multiple players of glasses safety glasses, sunglasses. There is a dedicated compartment back here, up top for your sunglasses. It's a little hard shell case, which I'll put these in here to demonstrate. You see, hard shell case, or your cell phone, if you wanna put your cell phone in there. So this little horseshoe uh, design is called the yoke design for the backpack. Um, there's also little C-clamps here, or like little C hooks that you can adjust this if you want to lower, if you want to connect it lower, connect it higher. Thought that was pretty cool. This is made like a hiking bag, a camping bag. It's thick. You can put a lot of stuff in here. So these pads are really comfortable. You also have these straps here that go around your waist for more support. The back of the bag has padding here. As you guys can see, it's padding here, here, here. And this here, this little rubber part is to hold the padding from sliding because this is kind of smooth. So this kind of grips your back there. Real quick. If you don't want these things, if you're gonna wear this as an everyday bag and not really need it for um, hiking or whatnot, and you're not gonna overload it where you need the support um, on the bottom too, these actually can be tucked inside of here like so. Slide it in. There you go. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it super neat, but actually adds a little more support on the bottom. So you can slide these in here. I'll probably be carrying it like this because I don't need these here going to work. Plus it might mess up my gun belt. Here you have these little loops. That's to attach a sleeping bag or anything you wanna carry underneath. You can attach it down here. There's little loops for that too. I said this was like a hiking bag, camping bag. It's also made with, if you have like a cami pack or a hydration pack, you can pull the hose out through here and the hose would come out through here. I have one, I'm just not gonna hook it up. Uh, comes out through here so you could drink it and then you could secure it here on the side through the loop here when you're hiking. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any hiking. I don't know, you never know, but I have the bag for it. On the sides of the bag before we get into the big compartment are two long pouches here. You could probably store, like I said, a handgun if you wanna put one in here or water bottles. Got a water bottle here. This is a 40 ounce water bottle, metal one, fits snug in there. So this is my go-to water bottle that I carry around all the time. As you guys saw in the beginning, in this bag, I carried it here on the side. I carried it here on the side, and then I secured it with this, but this bag has seen better days. I'm excited to carry around this one. So I got the water bottle in there. On this side, same exact compartment. 
So before we get into the biggest pouch of this bag, there is a back zipper here, and in that back zipper, there is a little pouch back here that there is a plastic plate for support. And in here, this is like a metal, a metal piece. This piece right here is my only concern because when I do, at work, I do go on trips or when I'm working or for a business trip or something and I gotta go through TSA, I don't want them saying, you know, hey, you have to remove that or can't bring that on here. Now my whole bag gets searched and I get delayed and the guy comes out of the back with a rubber glove and you know how that goes. Not good. So that's my only concern. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it in, see what happens. I'm gonna roll the dice. If I got any TSA Nod Squad members, you guys can maybe throw me a heads up. Hey Nick, I think you should take that out or leave it in, no big deal. So this is the largest compartment and it has a clamshell opening. I learned that, did my research. Boom, notice, clamshell, no pearl. So um, big compartment here, you could store clothes if you're going traveling. If you wanna go on eh, two days business travel or something, you could put some clothes in here and this might be all that you need. Um, but in my case, this is where my equipment for my camera is gonna go. It also has this here, this elastic strap. I'll probably put my laptop in this compartment. Uh, maybe my equipment in this one, I gotta figure it out. But moving forward, another couple mesh pockets here. As you guys see, there is a zipper pocket here. And then this is where my sunglasses are, or my cell phone. And then another mesh here. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I bought, it's an extra item that I had to go look for to turn this bag into something that I needed, which was a camera bag, a gear bag for police, and videography, so. So when you're dealing with lenses, lenses are glass. So you need to make sure they have a, a compartment, something soft that you can slide them in. And also cameras, they're very fragile, uh, plastic, again glass, a hard hit, might break something, so I said, hmm, let me research on Amazon.com and see if they have anything that I could possibly throw in this bag, maybe slide my camera in there, and they did. Here I got some lens pouches. They're thick and covered here, and I believe, yes, they are waterproof. So they come in four different sizes, which is good because I have multiple lenses. So four different sizes. I'm gonna put the link to all these down below on Amazon. If you guys wanna go get these, maybe you don't wanna put it in this or buy the bag, but you do are like, hey man, I can turn my book bag into a camera bag. Here you go, some lens covers, and they were rather cheap. They were only $10.59. Woo! So this one was about 15 bucks on Amazon. And again, I'm gonna put all the links down below, so if you guys want to go check it out, turn your regular book bag into a camera bag, boom. Simple. Here it is. And then they have these little walls here, these little styrofoam walls that you can adjust to make how wide you want um, each compartment to be. I'm gonna use these for my Panasonic Lumix. Uh, I have a GH4 and I have a G85. Close it like this and you have the camera bag that will be able to fit inside the 511 Tactical Series Rush 72. I'm gonna transfer the stuff over so you guys can get a quick view about it. I am gonna do a what's in my camera bag everyday carry video for you guys a little bit later on, but for right now, I just wanna put this bag together so you guys can see it, that it works, that my mad crazy idea works. I'm gonna go put this together real quick. This is the initial setup. As you can see, I got pretty much all of my equipment, most of my equipment that I use laid out on the table. There are some other things. Like I said, I wanna do an everyday carry video with you guys or a best camera that I believe for police vloggers to use. I'm gonna do the initial setup where I'm just gonna use the big compartment for most of my stuff. I this, this laptop here is my work laptop. My personal laptop is inside. I just, this is my work bag, like I said, so I, transfer stuff back and forth. So what I decided was I'm gonna buy a sleeve that probably made up of the same material as this to put my laptop in. But for the video purposes, I'll go ahead and slide my laptop in here. Tighten it up. I am 
Gonna put this in here. This is my camera bag or my bag inside of my camera bag. I don't know. For video purposes, I'm gonna pretend that it's in there because I have my camera here and I'm using it also. So my lenses, probably side my lenses in here. One, two, buckle my shoe. All my lenses inside this compartment here. Good to go. Here, my ND filter. I can slide it here on the outside part. ND filter, I don't know, so much to pick from. I'll just slide it in here for now. ND filter. With my hard drives, my portable hard drives, four terabyte, two terabyte. Boom. Slide it in here for now. All right, so all my stuff is in there. All my work stuff, all my videography stuff is in there. I have on the outside my sweater. And now I have the option of putting in my drone, my Mavic, which is in here. Plenty of room to slide that in there. Putting the cell phone. Boom, eight plus, it's a large cell phone fits in there. Like a glove. Now that's just an initial setup, a quick setup that I did. I am gonna go back and maybe organize it a little bit more, tuck some wires, figure it out. Like I said, this is just the initial review. You know, like I was talking about the police stuff. If I wanted to, I can easily slide in a, a full-size Glock inside the outside compartment here and have it ready to go. Simple like that. And then be on about my way or be on about my day or go vlog or whatever I have to do. So if I'm not carrying it on my waist, just an alternate way to carry it, shove it in the bag. Here it is. Here we go. Initial weight test. Whew. The weight distribution is a little bit more spread out. Feels more comfortable on my back. Um, now, if I didn't have my drone in there and I did have that case over the laptop, I might be able to squeeze in maybe the little SIG MPX here. Maybe with the collapsible stock. You know, keep it collapsed, then bring it out when I need it. But I don't know if things are gonna be that serious. So, all right guys, so that was the first look at the 511 Tactical Series Rush 72 book bag. I thought it was a good idea to get it. Um, it feels good, so far so good, so far two thumbs up, but then again, I've only been wearing it for five minutes. I'll do a follow up video later on, uh, just kind of giving an update on how it's been working out, or maybe how I had to send my laptop to go get fixed from Apple because it broke, because all the stuff was just wish washing around in there. Knock on wood, hopefully that doesn't happen. So with that being said, I'm gonna put all the links down below, including the camera lens pouches, the camera bag that's inside there, and the 511 Rush 72 backpack. All right guys, that's it for this video. It was just a quick video I wanted to put together to tell you guys about the new bag that I got. I'm gonna be using it tomorrow when I'm filming the third installment for the police car series that I'm doing here on this channel with Fort Lauderdale PD. Can't wait. So stay tuned for that. And with that being said, you guys know the Nod Squad sign off. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. <laughs>